We love that the giving spirit of the holidays is on full display today. This is the Salvation Army's Angel Tree Distribution Day. Our Paige Hulsey joins us live to show us how it all works and Paige how people at home, importantly, can still get involved. Yes, there is still time for you at home to help. Right now, we are in the midst of thousands of boxes filled to the brim with toys that will complete the wish list for children right here in St. Louis. I want to introduce you to Major Dini Moore with the Salvation Army. Tell me who else is here today because this place is busy. Oh, it is really busy. We have Wells Fargo here, Worldwide Technology, AmeriCorps, and Schnooks here to volunteer plus many individuals who showed up to help us, which is great because it's a big day. Yeah, you can always use extra hands. Yeah. For those who aren't familiar, what is the Angel Tree? How does the distribution work? Well, we, we allow people to sign up from about the end of August until the end of December or November, sorry, so we can get started on getting the toys. But they sign up and they give us a wish list. The parents tell us what the need is, what the kids wish for, all the way through to clothing, clothing sizes, and we fill those as, as best we can. And this year, you are helping an amazing number of children and families. Tell me about that. There's about 5,100 children, over 2,000 families, that are going to be served here just Tuesday through Thursday. But then over the whole um, St. Louis greater area, we're serving over 8,000 children. This will change lives, will change their Christmas oh, season. Yeah. How do you put that into words, the impact of what the volunteers and, and you are doing today with the Salvation Army? Oh, yes. I couldn't imagine. I mean, I remember growing up, there was always something under the tree. So we would get up in, on the morning of Christmas and no doubt something was there. I couldn't imagine getting up and nothing there. So to be able to help the children and to, to have that surprise look on their face and to know that they are loved and cared for. Um, and I love the fact that the parents get the toys, they wrap them. The kids don't know they come from somewhere else. They know in their hearts they come from the parents and they really do. Um, and it's just letting them know that they are loved. And they're worthy, right? And they're worthy, yeah. yes. They're worth the time and the energy, and we want to make sure they know that. So we are inside right now. This is where a lot of the coordination happens. The families who will be receiving these gifts are literally outside in their cars, and these gifts will be shared with them. But we do want to respect their privacy this holiday season. So for those watching, tell us what is logistically happening here today. <laughs> Well, all the bags have been filled, and they're filled, one per child, and according to the list that the parents give us. And then the volunteers come, they go out to the car, they get their number for their appointment, and they come in, they go to the box, they get the bags for them. They're then checked to make sure we have the right bags going to the right people. And then they get vouchers, too, for groceries. And then some of them get gift cards if that's what the donor gave them. And then they go out to the car. And so they get that personal touch of being greeted by someone, too. I also learned today more than 90 companies involved this year. That is, yes. I think, double the that's number double last the year. year. Do you think that the volunteers, that they kind of get something in return? Oh, yes. I believe that totally. And we're going to see a lot of the companies coming this week. So they're not just giving monetarily, but they come and give of their time in this way also. And I think it makes a huge impression and makes it even more important and meaningful because they get to give the gifts to the people and see the smiles on their faces and the appreciation. And really, the people are so appreciative. Well, thank you for your time and, and all you're doing this Christmas oh, season. Of course, there's still time that you at home can help, too. We're going to put this QR code up on your screen right now. So if you just scan this with your phone, it's going to take you directly to that place with the Salvation Army where you can kindly make a generous donation if you're able to this holiday season. And that will continue supporting the Salvation Army's mission. It is a wonderful place to be this morning to see these holiday wishes come true. We're going to send it now back to you in the Great Day Studio. I'm Paige Holsey. Paige, thank you so much. And guys, something that really stuck out to me and, and made me remember, not only are there going to be gifts under the tree, but these are gifts that those kiddos yep. 
asked for and yeah. they were so hoping for. And that is what is so cool. You get the list of all the items, you go and do the shopping. Right. And then on Christmas morning, everyone who volunteered, they're going to wake up not only excited for their family, but knowing but it, that they, yeah. yes. Yeah, remember when we did this and we, and, and there was, we felt all that stress of, we've got to find this. Right. We've got it's to find it. It's gotta be good. It's gotta be, be good. Exactly they, they have to they love want. it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very yeah. fun. Yeah.